Yo, what's up? It's your boy Cashmere Brown. Today is my big day. Um, I get married today. Crazy. Yeah, been going with the girl, same girl, for five, going on six years now. And today we get married. I just finished my vows. Gonna tie the knot, get married today. Today is August 23rd. And since today is my wedding day, I probably won't upload the video until the next day or later tonight. So just, I say, be on the lookout for that and everything and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. A little nervous. Pretty excited. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to talk about today, keep it short and sweet. This episode is called Don't Be a Menace. <laughs> it was actually kind of crazy. So to the other day I had saw I saw a picture. It was like a little comic strip picture. Basically, it showed a police officer. Um and you can view this picture on my Twitter page. So anyway. I, it showed a police officer, he shot Mike Brown and said, Oh, that's the fourth one I did, I killed today. I think I overdid it and it was a clan member saying, Don't worry. These people, black people are going to protest, they're going to get angry, they're going to pray and do whatever they need to do, but they're going to forget about it. And me and my boy, me and my people are playing a distraction. And the distraction was the ice bucket challenge. And it was kind of crazy that as soon as this thing happened, the ice bucket challenge just came. Just like, bam. But anyway, y'all can talk about that. Just let me, I guess, let me know how you feel about that and whatever not. Do you feel like the ice bucket challenge is a distraction from, like, the challenges that's really at hand, like, social challenge, racial challenge, and, and all this stuff? Do you feel like we need to be more focused on that than these ice bucket challenge? Like, come on, like, can we, that's what we need to be talking about. Like, somebody, now it's happening in San Francisco, somebody just got fucking shot for not paying the bus fare, like, these police, like, I understand, like, you can do other things to stop a situation. I'm in the army myself, but I feel as though that these police should have, unless you feel like you're going into that situation, you should do that, but if it's, like, for real, come on now, it's where it's just too far, it's a limit, it's just too far, it's, and then the fact is they're going to get away with this shit. That's the crazy part. The crazy part is that they didn't shoot another black person. Because police shoot black people all the time. So that's just like a usual, typical thing. Like, what white police don't shoot at a black police, like, at a black person? That's a typical thing. That's what not... See, I think that's what people don't understand. People think, oh, black people just mad because... They done shot another person, shot another black person, blah, blah, blah. No, we're not mad at that. And I'm speaking for all real black people, if you feel me. We're not mad at that. Because police officers shoot fucking a black person every fucking day. Like, what the fuck? Like, there's nothing special. The thing that got us pissed off about it is they're getting away with it. And they will get away with it. Like, they will get away with it. Nope. Is, you know, no ends, ends, or buts about it. They will get away with it. No matter what, they're going to get away with it. That's why, even with the George Zimmerman thing, I was gone for the Army, and I was like, he's going to get away with it. Somehow, some way, they got evidence. They told this man not to follow the boy. He's going to get away with it, no matter what. You can have mounts of evidence, phone calls, video, seeing this man doing this, doing it, but he's going to get away with it. The justice system is just fucked up, believe it or not. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. So, saw the picture and everything, and I felt I should express my opinion to certain celebs that's been doing the ice bucket challenge because in the end, I feel as though celebrities have more power than me. Like, let me just keep going. So, I tweeted um, Oprah, I tweeted Tyler Perry, Drake, Wiz Khalifa, and Marlon Wayne. 
And I tweeted them and saying, don't y'all, basically stating, I can't get you exact word from where. Y'all can go on my Twitter page and check it out. Let me know if I was in the wrong. But basically tweeting um, that these ice bucket challenges are basically a distraction and that we should do something to challenge us as black people and that us as black people need to do better and everything. And I feel it. And my question is, what can we do to challenge black people? I understand the ice bucket challenge. I understand what it does. But I feel like it's a distraction about what's really going on. So I'm saying, what can we do to help other black people like that? And I sent them the same picture I saw. I tweeted them. And I like, did check my phone or anything because I had got a haircut. Came back an hour later, got a reply from one of the celebs. And I'm getting happy. I'm like, oh, okay. Got a reply from Marlon Wayans. This nigga here <laughs> has went completely off the wall. Like, and he, and it's so changed. When he replied, his reply so changed my whole perspective and perception of him like totally it, it was like a whole 180 for me like the whole 360 for me for the um, for the whole Marlon Wayans thing cause he replied with shut the fuck up you don't know what I'm doing what I'm doing is I'm trying to what I'm doing is effective and everything he was like what the fuck are you doing wait a minute now did this man just get offended because I asked him a question about what should we do to challenge us as black people and to for us as black people to do better? Did he really just get mad about that? Did he just get up in his feelings? Like, the fuck did he just get up in his feelings because I asked him a poor ass question? Then on top of that, I'm talking to him. I'm saying, I said, dude, um... I told him I was a big fan. I am a big fan. Like, nigga, I still watch Senseless. It came out in 97. That's like one of one of my favorite movies by the man. Like, for real, dude, really funny. Dude got real mad about it. Like, cussed me out and everything. I'm like, what the fuck? And I came to him. And I'm saying, dude, and I, my perspective of him now, he's a rich asshole now. Pretty much, he's a rich asshole that that's got to into the money. I feel as, as though that's just my honest opinion and everything. Cause I thought he was gonna spit some real shit or whatever. Because your reply could have been better, Marlon. Your reply could have been totally better. It could have been, hey, um, this is what I'm doing for a black community. This, this, that, that, that. But telling a person to shut the fuck up when they're asking you an important ass question about what should we do to help challenge our black people and then you shoot me down like that, you're not helping the situation. You're not helping the community as us, as a people. You're making it even worse. You're showing me that it's not going to get any better. And then it made it even worse about his next reply. So, in his next two replies. So... I act and then talking to a dude, I say, you're just another rich asshole or whatever. And that's why it's not going to get better. Y'all celebrities that have the power, me, I may have some little power locally. Locally, I have a power. Locally, I have a power. These niggas in movies, these niggas doing stuff, he's out, he's out there doing shows and Talking to different people from different states. I can't do all, all that. I'm just local. Then I'm a, Even though I'm an artist, I can only reach certain people. And, and nowadays, these certain people only want to listen to a certain type of music. They ain't ready to hear stuff like that. They're not ready to hear that. They're not ready to hear the truth like that. So, when I was telling him, you have the power to do something and change a whole lot of shit. And then he said, it doesn't just take not one man, it takes every man. And I, underst I understood that completely. And I understood that. But I still feel as though you have more power than anybody to change. You always, you're going up and talking to people. You have that power to do something. And your reply should have been, 
this is what I'm doing, this, this, that, that, not to shut the fuck up. I don't feel like you have any situation. You know what I'm saying? Then, after that, I asked him another important question, thinking he was about to school me to the game, to the game you know, and be on some real shit. I said, so why is it that every man, why, what's, no, I asked him, what's stopping every man from doing what is needed? Question mark. And I also said, why does it take for another race to kill a black person for us as black people to come together? That's a real ass question. Soon as one, soon as a white person kill a black dude, now we're suddenly all together. What the? How's that happen? It should be every time a killing happens, every time black on black crime happens, for real. Like these white people ain't killing us, we still killing each other. Like what the hell? We still killing each other. Black people. Black people are black people's downfall. If that makes any type of sense to anybody. It's just being real. And this dude reply, subtweet, didn't tweet me back. His reply was, and I knew it was for me, is, I don't know and I don't care, shrug. That just lets me know, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, Marlon Wayans. Thank you so much for being so effective in the black community and for what you're doing. Thank you, and I appreciate you. And now I know my answer to why I, t I finally know my answer to what's stopping every man from doing what is needed. And I also know my answer to why does it take another race to kill a black person for us as black people to finally come together. And I finally know my answer. Thank you, Marlon Wayans. Thank you again. And I appreciate you. And the answer is you don't know and you don't care. Shrug. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Cashmere Brown. I am an artist from Memphis, up and coming artist from Memphis that's trying to make it and bring a change into hip hop. Yes, I realize that maybe the type of music I'm trying to bring, positive music, is not what they're ready for. Okay, I wait till my time comes. I'm waiting till the time is right. So I'm doing what I'm doing now to make it with my friends and friends that rap. So, that's it. We got a new song called Flex Alexander. Great song. Check it out. It's on my YouTube page. Check it out. And follow Friends That Rap. That's Friends That Rap on Instagram at Friends That Rap. Follow me on Instagram at Cashmere Brown. Also on Twitter, if you want to see the whole conversation, I keep up the whole convo. The whole convo on my Twitter wall. You can go back on Marlon Wayans. Twitter wall. You can go check him. Check that out. Follow, follow that underscore Cash Mirror Brown at Twitter. You can follow the whole conversation. Follow the whole conversation. Once again, pay vacation. The mixtape is coming soon. Make sure y'all follow me. I'm going to put this up very soon. Thank y'all. Have a wonderful day. And remember, he doesn't know. He doesn't care. Don't be a man. T.R. nigga, you old flexing ass nigga. Cash.